you have to stop doing a tactical gun. Kind of like overview thing. First with mine. You know what here I'll show you. I do have a tactical light. Unknown brand at the moment, but it's pain in the ass to get off. Just took off my tactical light. So you pretty much have this gun. Comes. Okay, it does not come with this grip, this carry handle. It came on my M4. Yep, but he gave me, I gave him this flip up sight that came on this. And the front is a flip up sight too. That if you look, it has this little switch on the side. That you break up and you slide down. Just redo it so it clips in place. And, uh, and uh, we don't have to uh, access the hop up. Show your charging handle, you get a little safety pin right here. Pull it back. And the hop up is right there. And then I did put grip tape, baseball grip tape on my handle just for me. Pretty much how I customize this out, how I actually recommend it is I have not bought a laser for it yet. Don't know why, but just haven't. But my uh, uh, my uh, I recommend getting this flashlight. I think it's a condo flashlight. Oh, well, you might gun on this thing. You the camera swivel, so. Um, so that's pretty much what my main class is. I mean, it has like 400. I'm not really sure how much FPS it actually has. I don't really care to look. I just thought it looked cool, so. I don't just buy it if it looked cool. So, the flashlight is kind of a pain to get on, especially when it's on the side. But if you buy a flashlight or like expect like attach like a laser or attack light or something to it. It's gonna be very hard to get it back on the side because the be a lot easier just to use you know two people to do it. But the other gun I have here, uh, let me just finish on with my track light. Uh, I actually have a blue, actually like one of those like quick breach blind light things. And so this is pretty much how I have my gun set up. And. Then this is my pistol. Uh, Ignite Black Ops. Blow back 1911. I just like the 1911 design. Um, and it has, I mean, the CO2 is just accessed. The bottom hatch there. Oops, that's on the camera view. You just pull, twist that piece out. And there's actually a mini screwdriver built into the bottom. Clip it on, whatnot. And when you're out of ammo, this will actually go back. They back like a real 1911. The barrel is really easy to interchange. This one, touch it. And you got your full functional safety right here. And you got your beaver tail safety. And next is, oh, and the mag. It's a 350 count high cap mag that comes with it. And I recommend point twenties. But if you want it to go like a little, if you're doing TQB or like a little bit, you just want to, if you have to lower the FPS, I don't recommend these, but use point twelves. I mean, they do break your guns quicker. So, yeah, so now to Kyle. My name is Kyle, part of Tanner's Airsoft Team, Airsoft Prodigy. And the only gun I have so far, my other um, pistol broke. But um, the only gun I have right now is an Ignite Black Ops Full Metal um, Blowback M4A1. Um, I had the um, hand grip on it, but I traded it with Tanner for the flip up to his thing, and it has um, the f uh, has four changeable zooms and um, a six change um, a six position changing backstock, and um, this is it's not dual powered, but you just pull that back and. There's a little pin. There's a little pin wheel inside, inside right there, and you twist it to access the hop up. And um, it's got a 350 capacity mag with a pin wheel on the bottom. You just put it in your gun and turn it a little bit, and it'll load the BBs. And I th I recommend using 12 grams on this. Uh, no, not 12 grams, 20 grams on this. But if you have to lower your FPS, like Tanner said, use the 12, 12 grams. And the way you put the battery in this, it's kind of a pain in the ass. But 
what you have to do is there's there's this delta ray right on here and it involves you having to pull it back, slide this off, and then you attach attach the battery right there, and then you have to shove them, shove it back in the gun, and make sure it all fits and even. And it takes a while to get a hang of it, but even I I, can't, I still have a, trouble doing it. It takes a while. Can I move some from Kyle while you're doing that? What? No. I'm right about to finish. Don't show them where the battery goes. Um, in this one, actually, I forgot to show you this. The battery's in this little There's pop off thing where you push it down. It's kind of a pain in the ass. There's a bit, But it, uh. There's a button. What? Nothing. But there's. Hey, put the battery in it. actually fits very. It's, it's a nunchuck. If you want to show you guys do is you just put each nunchuck on each side. And it's a small connector. So. And it comes with a sling. It's kind of a nice sling. I mean, it's considerably durable. I just put it on. So, so right now, me and Tanner both have the battery in our gun. And first off, Tanner is going to show you his gun dry fire just to show you how loud it is. Okay, this is it. The battery is not fully charged. I haven't charged this in a couple days, so it might sound kind of weird. I'm about to find out, but semi auto. Pull out of it. It's going to be the first time. I know. Okay, it's kind of close there for a sec. Wait for a little buffer. Hmm. Okay, let me get off the counter. This is just like a little bit too much buffer. Like Just show them the sound. Just tell them and explain to them the sound. So mine, mine comes with the safety, the semi-auto, and the full auto, obviously. Well, excuse me, The semi-auto. But it's not actually a full system, right? No, just a clip. And the, um, my battery, it's only been charged for around, um, it's only been charged for around three hours, three hours. So it doesn't have a full charge either. So this is semi-auto. And then full auto. I'm not gonna do the full auto right now because it's very loud. Done. Should I just do two shots? No. It's a lot quieter. Oh yeah, this is, this is a very easy to like, pull up this, this thing. It just looks cooler, you know, if you're battling. Pull it down and do it well. So yeah, those are our airsoft guns we have right now, and hope you enjoyed watching.